The latest report from the U.S. Agricultural Department showed that corn supplies are much more plentiful than initially estimated. There had been concerns about wet inclement weather and flooding conditions in some states and how the fallout would limit the acreage of corn planted. Yet the most recent USDA survey showed a bigger than expected supply of corn with a total of 92.3 million acres planted. Following the latest USDA data, futures prices for corn tumbled last week. It is important to keep in mind that corn per bushel is still higher by over 70% compared to a year ago. In addition, corn crops are still in the early stages of the growing season, and many factors could affect the 2011 harvest. The USDA has also said that it will resurvey some regions, including the North and South Dakotas, and also Minnesota and Montana. For corn acreage, this is to ensure that readings are as accurate as possible. Some of the delays in this year's planting season could mean a smaller corn harvest in some states. Still, consumers and farmers stand to benefit. The latest spike in prices has meant that livestock producers were easing back on their purchases of corn. Not surprisingly, alternative corn prices such as wheat also fell on the latest USDA report. Farmers who raise cattle, poultry, and hogs will see a cost savings for feed, and for American consumers, this could mean less pressure on food prices at the supermarket.